Nagal. My name is B. Sandosh Kumar, Assistant Professor, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. My subject is Computer Architecture. Today I am discussing about Memory Reference Instructions. So, in the Memory Reference Instructions, first we have to discuss about Computer Instructions. The basic computer has 16-bit instruction register, IA, which can denote either memory reference or register reference or input-output instruction. Memory reference instructions, these instructions refer to memory address as an operand. The other operand is always accumulator, specified 12-bit address, 3-bit opcode and 1-bit addressing mode for direct and indirect addressing mode. So, first we have to discuss about computer instructions. So, any of the instruction, suppose add ax, bx or mul ax, bx, anything, any of the instruction, any other instruction, I have to take, it is a 16-bit instruction register, IR, which can denote either memory reference or register reference or input output instruction. So, if I am taking this instruction register as either memory reference, okay, any of the memory reference or register reference or input output instruction. So, I am giving input output instruction. So, input output means, uh, suppose I have to give some keyboard or mouse to output or printer, anything. So, input output instructions. So, we have to follow the instructions for input and output. And First of all, I am discussing about memory reference instructions. These instructions refer to memory address as an operand. So, any of the instruction, suppose I am taking easy, it is one instruction. These instructions refer to memory address, memory address as an operand. So, suppose add ax, bx, I am taking one instruction. This instruction I need a memory and address to finding out that one. So that is the memory data register and a memory address register. So we need a memory reference as yes, I need a memory reference for this one. So this instruction refer to memory address as an operand. So what is the address of this memory? So it is a data as yes, it is a data which was is in memory. Okay, this data is in memory. And we have the particular address will be there. Yes. So any of the instruction, any of the instruction we are considering as that is a data and which is allocating a memory and address for that one. So that is memory address register, memory data register. So this is about the instruction register IR. So these instruction register refer to as the address of an operand. The op other operand always accumulator, so it is a 12-bit address. Okay, so this is I am taking as add ax, bx. So this one I am taking as a opcode. This I am taking as a operand. Opcode and operand. So what is the opcode and what is the operand? Add ax, bx. I am taking as opcode and operand of this one. So any of the IR register we are considering as a 16 bit. That means 0 to 15 bit. So in this 0 to 15, 0 to 15, first one 0 to 12 is a address and otherwise 0 to 11 and 12, 13, 14. Sometimes we are taking as a 0 to 12 and sometimes we are taking as a 13 to 15. So, Okay, 15 is the interrupt, 12 to 14 is the opcode and it is the address. Okay, this 12 bit is the address of this and it is the 
op code and it is a instruction register i equal to 0 or i equal to 1. So, this operand always accumulator specifying the 12 bit address. So, that is a 12 bit address 0 to 12. How much? It is a 12 bit address that is a memory address MAR memory address register or MAR and this 12 to 14. Maybe I am taking is a op code. Okay. What I am taking op code means add move multiplex mul div like this. Okay. So, this I am taking as a op code. It is a instruction register. One bit address is mode for direct or indirect addressing mode. So, okay. Direct addressing mode means uh, in the directly we are defining the address and data of that one. Indirect means indirectly we are giving. So, we are giving one address. In that address, the data will be there. That is a indirect addressing mode. So, any of the memory uh, reference instructions we are taking as a memory address and of code and uh, interrupt or instruction register director addressing mode so this 12 bit is the memory address 3 bit is the op code and 1 bit address mode for direct and indirect addressing mode okay this is the memory reference instructions and register reference these instructions perform operations on registers rather than memory address the ir 12 to 14 is 111 uh, we are taking like one example differentiates it from memory reference and IR15 is 0 differentiates it from input to output instructions. The rest of the 12 bits specify the register operation. So, the bit in position 15 of the instruction code is designated by the symbol I but it is not used as a mode bit when the operation code is equal to triple one. So, register reference. These instructions perform operations on register rather than the memory address. So, I am not talking about the memory address. So, previously here memory reference instruction means I am taking the memory address we defined here. But here I am not defining the memory address of this one. Here we are taking that as a register reference. Register rather than the memory address we are defining okay so we are not defining the memory address the instruction perform the operation of the register register rather than the memory address i am not defining the memory address just in place of memory address i am taking as a register operation so i am not taking here register only i will consider that is the ir that is 12 to 14 only 0 to 11 is a 12 bit con considering as a register what is the register operation R1, R2 like this and 12 to 14 is a 111. If it is 11 means I will not define this one. If the values are be changed then I will be changed. So here the 15 position instruction code is designed by the symbol I but it is not used as a more bit when the operation code is equal to 311. 311 means I am not using any of this one. If 311 is not there then I 15th bit or final uh, 15th position I will change the value of instead of 0. Input output reference instructions. These instructions are for communication between computer and outside environment. The instruction register 12 to 14 is 311 differentiates it from memory reference and IR15 equal to 1 differentiates it from register reference instructions. The rest 12 bit specifies the input output operation. So here input output reference means these instructions are communication between computer and outside environment. Here instead of memory address, instead of register operation, only we are taking input output operation. In the first method I used memory address, in the second method I used register operation, in the third method I am using input output operation in the in the place of 0 to 11 that is a 12 bit. So in the 12, 12 to 14 just I am taking as a 111. If it is 111 I am taking i equal to 1. Previously 3 1 means i equal to 0. Now I am taking i equal to 1. So that is a difference of input output. If input output is enabled then here I am taking i equal to 1. Here I am not here the register operation is performed 
if all ones are there, then it can be considered as i equal to 0. So, in the first method, memory reference instructions, we are considering as a 0 to 11, 12 to 14 and 15th bit. So, here we are considering as a memory operation. So, only we are considering here is the memory address. In the second one, memory instruction register, second one, register operation. So, here we are considering as a 0 to 11 register operation and here 12 to 14 is the op code, here i equal to 0, here op code, if it is 111 then I am taking i equal to 0, that is a register operation, it is an input output operation. In this input output operation, 0 to 11 is the input output register, 12 to 14 is the op code and it is a, if i equal to 0, if i equal to 1, all 1s are there, it is 111, i equal to 0, it is 111, then it I am considering as a i equal to 1. So, there are three types of memory reference, first one memory register, memory reference instruction and a register reference, it is a register reference it is the input output operation, input output reference instruction. Okay. So, memory reference instructions are useful in order to perform operations on operands. Memory reference instructions are those commands or instructions which are in the custom to generate a reference to the memory and approval to a program to have an approach to the command and information and that states as to from where the data is cached continuously. These instructions are known as memory reference instructions. So, there are seven memory reference instructions are there and add LDA, STA, BUN, BAC and IASZ. We will discuss in the later uh, topics. So, memory reference instructions, okay. We are referring the memory through the registers and it is useful to perform operations on operands. I am talking about the operand. Previously, we discussed only opcode, but here I am talking about operand. So, these memory reference instructions are those commands or instructions which are in the custom to generate a reference to the memory and approval to a program to have an approach to the command and information and that states as to from where the data is continually, these instructions are known as memory reference instructions. Okay, these are the memory instructions are there. So, here 0 to 14 is the instruction register IR. Uh, it is a total instruction register that is from 0 to 15. 0 to 11 is the address or data or memory or input output instruction it will be showing 12, 12 13 14 is showing as a op code op code and 15th is a i equal to 0 or i equal to 1 so this op code three inputs are there now so when i am going for the decoder decoder means what is the operation decoder means 3 into 2 power 3 n into 2 power n so what is the formula for decoder n is to 2 power n that means 3 into 2 cube, 3 into 2 cube means 8, so 3 into 8 decoder. So, here n equal to 3 means 2 power 3, so it is a decoder. So, n input lines, 2 power n in n and 2 power n output lines, that is a decoder. So, here 0 to 8, 0 to 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are the D0 to D7 are connected to the control logic gates or logic gates. And here the clock pulse 
and CLR clear and increment means program counter and it is a connected to the 4 bit sequence counter 4 bit sequence counter here also i am going for the decoder so how many input lines here 1 2 3 4 4 into 2 power 4 that means 4 into 2 power 4 means 16 so 4 is to 16 outputs so 0 to 15 that means 16 t0 to t15 which are connected to control logic so at the top side d0 to d7 of the decoder is connected to instruction register is connected to control logic and a program counter instructions are connected to control logic of 0 to 15 that is a 16 bit so these are con connected to control logic gates how many out outputs are possible only one output that is a control output so input is a instruction register and output is a control output it is about the memory reference instruction of instruction register ir and any of the instruction register we are taking as a 16 bit that is from 0 to 15 so here also i am taking 0 to 11 12 to 14 and 15 that is i equal to 0 or i equal to 1 so it is a op code or op and it is a address or data or input output operation will be performed so 0 to 11 12 to 14 and 15 register here two decoders are we need 3 into 8 and 4 into 16 which are connected to control logic so we need a clock pulse yes definitely we need a clock pulse for data lines and what is the output is a control output is the output and the and instruction implement and logic operation on the bit collection from the register and the memory ward that is determined by the effective address the result of this operation is moved back to the register that is d attached to mar so memory address register in the address register in the specific address register so m of ar means in this address in this address the some data will be there the data the some data is there that data i am calling as a dr so m of ar means in the address register what is address register so, uh, the related to the memory the set of memory is in a particular address that is a m of ar tends to dr means in this address register the data is there that data is a dr and here source count sc tends to 0 and dr tends to accumulator here ac means accumulator accumulator that means the value of accumulator where it is come ac to D, ac tends dr means and gate i am taking so in the data register the data is there that data is shifted to accumulator in this data register what is the data is there this data is shifted to accumulator so accumulator tends to accumulator into dr and m of ar means memory address register to dr and accumulator plus data register to the accumulator suppose the accumulator is the some value is there 1101 some data register also there 10000 so this plus this value is adding to the accumulator so here accumulator value equal to accumulator plus data register so lda load accumulator instruction shares the memory what denoted by the effective address to the register so in the particular address what is the data is there the data is a dr and here dr tends to accumulator means that in this data what is the data is there suppose my data is 10 110 example so how much is there 8 bit data this data is converted to accumulator first of all m of ar m of ar data is converted to dr this dr is converted to accumulator so finally what happened m of ar value converted to dr this dr converted to ar so finally the output value is accumulator so what is the value of ar m of ar that data is stored in accumulator that is a load accumulator so what is the input here accumulate uh, address register uh, m of ar data is stored in loaded to accumulator sta store accumulator it saves the content of the register into the memory ward that is defined by the effective address 
the output is next user to the common bus and the data input is linked to the bus it needed only one micro operation so store accumulator saves the content of the register into the memory ward that is defined by the effective address so the output is next user to common bus and the data bus is linked to the bus it needed only one micro operation that means accumulator value is is loading to the m of ar what is the value of accumulator this value is loading into the address register in the specific address of memory in the specific address of memory so in this address what is the memory that memory is filled with accumulator value next branch unconditional instruction this branch unconditional instruction transfer the program to the instruction specified by the effective address here also i mentioned effective address it is also one effective address of store accumulator here also i am taking effective address of the instruction and the, uh, the understand that the address of the next instruction to be performed is held by the program counter and it should be incremented by one to receive the address of the next instruction in the sequence so what is the effective address of the instruction that address of the value which is belongs to program counter pc and it is incremented by one to receive the address of the next instruction pc means the address of the next instruction should be shown and the bun branch unconditional instruction allows the programmer to specify an instruction out of the sequence and we can say that the program branches are jumps unconditionally there is no condition for the one so address register value is is shifting to the program counter so what is the address register in this address register in this address register what is the data is there that is moving to program counter that is branch unconditional data transfer next bsa stands for branch and save return address branch and save return address these instructions can branch a part of the program known as subroutine or procedure when this instruction is performed branch instruction or branch save return will store the address of the next instruction from the program counter into a memory location that is determined the effective address that means address register plus one means next next address of the memory of the next address of the instruction next address of the instruction that instruction address will be moved to present address okay it is a present address it is a next next address register is moving to present address and the program counter means address of the next instruction that is moved to memory address register so here address register is converted to the program counter so ar plus 1 to ar ar to pc pc to m of ar like this here it is a example of bsa instruction branch and save here i am taking one uh, branch and save condition so i am taking first here ar plus 1 to ar it is one operation so here i am taking bsa branch and save accumulator 0 to 135 it is a next instruction so what is the present instruction the present instruction is a present equal to 20 program counter is a even and nothing but a next instru instruction so pc equal to next instruction next instruction so presently 20 means pc equal to 21 so ar equal to address register equal to 135 here address register equal to 136 so bsa 0 to 135 it is 1 to 135 memory program counter and address register at t4 time here memory and the program counter after execution after execution so isz increment and skip if zero is increment the word specified by the effective address and the incremented value is equal to zero program counter pc incremented by one okay presently pc is there pc equal to next instruction pc plus one equal to next next address of the instruction 
a negative value is saved in the memory word through the programmer it can influence the zero value after getting incremented repeatedly thus the program counter pc is incremented and the next instruction is skipped since it is not possible to increment a word inside the memory and it is necessary to read the word into dr Incrementing to dr and store the word back into the memory m of ar tends to dr so in the address register in the address register what is the memory data is there this memory means this data is shifted to data register the memory is there in the particular address this memory is shifted to dr that is nothing but m of ar tends to dr and dr plus 1 means next data next instruction data dr plus 1 tends to dr so pc plus 1 tends to pc means next program next address of the instruction pc plus 1 that next address instruction is copied to present program counter that is a loading of present if dr equal to 0 is it conditional yes it is a conditional so it is a memory reference instruction these are the four types are there and add lda and sta so here and means address, m of address register memory of address register tends to dr here memory of memory address register to dr here m of ar tends to dr here accumulated to memory address register when source count equal to 0 so here accumulator and dr equal to accumulator the value of accumulator to dr is loading to accumulator here accumulator plus data register accumulator value plus data register value are added to accumulator here data register what is in the data register so about 8 bit data is there that 8 bit data is converting to the accumulator okay so it is the iz bsa and bun is three three are there it is a m of means memory of address register to direct register program counter to memory of address register and address register to program counter so dr plus 1 means next instruction data dr plus 1 is loading to present data register here present address register is copied to program counter so dr to m of ar when what is the condition if dr equal to 0 is it conditional yes it is a conditional is it conditional no it is a not conditional okay it is a conditional it is a flow chart of memory reference instructions okay these are the references so now today we discussed in the memory reference instruction first one memory reference instruction means we are taking memory address in the 15 bit out of 16 bit 0 to 15 and taking 0 to 11 0 to 11 means 12 bit data is the memory address remaining 3 bit is a op code and the last one is a i equal to 0 or i equal to 1 here register reference means 0 to 11 i am taking as a register operation that is a 12 bit and 12 13 14 is a op code and last one is a 15th bit is a i equal to 0 i am taking when all are ones it is a input output it is i equal to 1 when 12 13 14 uh, op codes are one it is a input output operation so memory reference instructions so and add lda sta burn bsa iz are the memory reference instructions and it is the control bus of a basic unit okay so instruction register which is 16 bit and i am applying the decoder to the instruction register after the next instruction i am taking another decoder with 4 into 16 lines so first instruction register and program counter these are added to the control logic and finally we will get only one output that is a control output so it is a operation of and m of ar to dr here and ac plus dr equal to ac and lda m of ar memory of address register to uh, data register and data register is to the accumulator register and sta it stores the accumulator stores the accumulator what will store m of ar in the accumulator value what is accumulator value is there this accumulator value is storing in m of ar next bun branch and conditional it is a effective address that means address register data is stored in program counter next bsa branch and save return that means 
next instruction address value or data is copied to the present address and the program counter is the m of a or means address register of the memory okay it is about the memory and save instructions it is a ISZ increment and skip if zero increment dr plus one to dr increment skip to zero when it is zero what will happen okay and it is a flow chart of memory reference instructions with and add lda sta so ISZ bsa bun total seven segments these seven are the memory reference instructions okay these seven are the memory reference instructions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7. These are the 1, 2, 7 are the memory reference instructions. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.